This is my lake. <laughs> Got one? Yes, I want. This place where the lake is, I bought in about 1990. I took a notion that it would be fun to build a pay lake. It's an expensive ordeal. Sherilyn, hurry up and get off the pot. You got a customer. The pay lake is a gamble and a risk. If one thing goes wrong, whether it's fish or whether it's the transportation of the fish, it can be devastating. The age difference for Leo and I probably isn't ideal for most people. <laughs> Becky and I are 30 years apart in age. I was divorced, he was divorced. Becky, who was a neighbor I'd known all my life. We just kind of were in town the same time at the tire shop. She was 22 at the time. And I came down here, went fishing with my daughter. I was 52. He said, I want to get married and I want to have kids and you look like a good breeder. And a lot of people didn't think it would work. Lo and behold, we got married three months later. My first wife named Becky too, so I been sure put the middle name on there. <laughs> Well, we started building it, you know, and she asked what it would cost. No, I said twenty or thirty thousand dollars. We have a fish loss of an average of fifteen pounds a day for the first three years. I wanted to close every single season. She gets all fidgety if things don't go exactly right. Once you bring a fish in with a parasite, your whole entire pond will have it, and your fish will die. You can haul a fish clear across the United States if you've got enough oxygen. The oxygen dissipates into small bubbles which feed the fish. We have two tanks. My job is to, is to look back ever so often and monitor the oxygen. Leo, have you looked at that oxygen? Leo. I'm Darren. I haul all the fish that comes into the Beaver Creek Pay Lake. We gotta make one little timeout up here. I like beer. As luck would have it, you wouldn't believe what today's oh, lunch special was. Wonder, wonderful, wonderful. I don't uh, really even like anybody that don't like beer. About lunchtime, ain't it? When me and Leo go pick up the fish, it's a new adventure every time. The most important thing about the fish hauling is maybe not get too drunk before you head out. he needed to go to the bathroom, he wouldn't go upstairs. He would just go around the corner and go pee. A lot of times when you need to piss, they ain't something right there handy. I've seen it on the job site. They have them port johns That may be off over in the next holler. When you need to piss, you got to piss. I'm Jane, and I'm Becky's mom and I help run this place, and I don't know what they'd do if I wasn't here. <laughs> Seems like we've had a downturn in the economy, not as many people fish. There's still a lot of people like to go out to eat. Jane likes to keep things under control. People knew my mom was a good cook, that I was a good cook, and it went from a sandwich shack to a full-fledged restaurant. Okay, she's not one. She's four years younger than me, you know. Whenever they first told us they was going to do this pay leg, I thought it was the most stupidest thing I'd ever heard in my life. Uh, Leo's lazy. He works harder at getting people to do stuff than if he'd go do it himself. Leo! Get down there and turn them lights on. Becky said to right now. OK, we can do that, Jay. <laughs> what Leo does all day long, I honestly do not know. Leo! Leo, I need fish! Leo likes to take naps. Leo! Oh. Mom, get him up! Trenton! Leo, get up, I can fall asleep pretty easy. I guess because I'm a good guy, I've got a clear conscience. My daughter, Katie, she's got my work ethic. You better cinch him down tight. She's pretty bossy as well. I want a milkshake. No, you can have a cup. She's very, very funny, though. You're such a brat. <laughs> I got fired a couple times. Yeah, I had the potatoes, but I also had the grilled vegetables. I don't want to fire you. Katie's quit me here two or three times. Your hair looks retarded, Katie. Um, sorry. You ain't gonna make much money looking like that. I said you have to give a two-week notice, get your apron on, and get your ass out there. The fishing cutoff is 9 o'clock. The night of the tournament, the guy that catches the most fish will win $500. There's some characters out there. 
They might be missing several teeth. Might be missing a button on their overalls that don't want to button up right. I always fish in the very same spot every single time. The amateur up here is out fishing me again. We're in the running. Get that fish, blood. Ah. If you throw here and you throw here, you're getting them scattered. But if you throw in one single spot all the time, they'll just gather right there. I pick up girls being a fishman because they like to see how the rod hangs and how the hook slides. You got to be smarter than the fish. I know there's people that like deer meat soaked in blood. Personally, I use hot dogs soaked in strawberry Kool-Aid. The best bait is what you get in front of them. They're not gonna pick up one piece of food and say, oh, that's a shrimp, I'm waiting for a worm. They're gonna eat that shit. Woo! Ah! I want these bad boys weighed. You want them weighed? I caught four and I had three others on. Now the winner for the biggest fish is Randy Pruitt. Yeah. I was really happy with the results. I'll be back next Saturday to defend my honor. Would you all like to have another tournament right away? Yeah. 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 yeah! Sold a lot of food, a lot of beer. See, this is our first tournament. We're going to have more. We're having one next week. See what happens. Hey Lakin, where fishing is a serious business.